I'd been sleepy all week. Couldn't figure out why. I guess I did fly from Pittsburgh all the way to northern Pittsburgh. <laughs> something still wasn't right. There was something on my mind. Try as I might, cigarettes wouldn't do it. That's when I heard the knock on the door. <laughs> Another knock, this time louder, and using her feet. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? I pondered whether or not I should respond. I was very sleepy at this point and tempted to just go to bed, but something told me there was something important behind that door. Well, I've waited for about 15 seconds in silence, and now... Oh, hello! <laughs> I need your help. Many people do. What can I help you with, man? I lost a piece of luggage on the 6.30 <laughs> flight to Northern Pittsburgh this morning. I was wondering if you might help me track it down. What a coincidence. <laughs> that was the exact flight that I was on this morning. Did I know this? Did she know me? Was this all a ruse? I don't know, but I'm sure to find out as an elephant finds out whether or not there's a mouse in his trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about the slug, man. Certainly. It's a slim black suitcase. And it contains some very sensitive material. So I'm willing to pay handsomely for its return. <laughs> My money's very handsome. <laughs> I didn't normally take money, but if it was particularly handsome, well, who am I to turn down handsome money? <laughs> I noticed on the sign that you usually work in the barter system. I do. But since I don't have any chickens, I hope you'll accept some cold, hard cash. <laughs> I suppose that this once I might be able to make an exception. Now tell me, is there anybody that I should be worried about that might also be searching for this suitcase? There is. But before we go any further, you wouldn't begrudge a girl a cigarette, would you? I was very confused. She already had a cigarette in her hand. <laughs> Did she want me to give her another cigarette? I need you to light it. <laughs> <laughs> I made it understood what she meant. Thanks, sailor. It's a very long stretch. Probably shouldn't have gotten up, but behind me now. <laughs> Yes. There's a man you might see. The fat man. Be careful. He also wants the suitcase. I've encountered the fat man before. Very rare nowadays. Are we talking about the same fat man? <laughs> Soon so. There's only one fat man in Northern Pittsburgh. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> now what would the fat man want with your suitcase? Is there something particularly valuable? I'm paying you a hefty finder's fee. And that precludes you knowing anything else about the suitcase, I'm afraid. Hmm. Alas, she knew my weakness. Money and cigarettes. <laughs> what I would say no to was nothing. Of course I'll take the case. Of course I'll take the case! <laughs> and I hope you understand, I'm paying you a finder's fee, not a Need to know about what's in the suitcase fee. Of course, I understand. Only man. 